All right. All right. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Natrovia. Natrovia. Chin chin. Salute. Cheers. Cheers. Hiya, baby. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's sonic. Prank caller, prank caller. My fish are all disturbed. Bye. It was a different kind of smoke. Don't worry about it. You guys got another package delivered here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing. Yeah, it's the 13th floor. Umbrella Okay, so what you're telling me is that he's stuck in the trash chute. There's nothing I could do about it right now. He's just going to live there for the next day or two until I can get someone out there. All right? Jesus. What do you want? Uh, yeah, we're here to see our Yankee cousins, the maniacs. Yeah, what floor were they on? Thirteen. Thirteenth floor, and, and when you go up there, you can tell Beck Maniac the next time she throws a party in the building, she can clean it up herself, or I'm going to grab her by the ears and take her face and make her clean up the building. You know, she threw a party throughout the whole building, and we needed to call forensics to clean it up because it was a crime scene. Like, who does that? I'm sure they've done worse. And you know what? You can tell Beck that she can come down here, and I can go up there, and we are going to be going up and down, and there's going to be a lot of problems. 10-4, good buddy. We're like five niners, friggin' NSTTRs. What's that? Northside Triller Treesh. Okay, got it. Oh, and by the way, because of all their shenanigans, the elevator's out. You boys are going to have to take the stairs. Everything they touch, they destroy. Like my sanity. Oh. Welcome! Hey, come on in. We are UH. We are unfathomable, undeniable. I'm your host for today, Jay Maniac, and with me is my trusty sidekick, Beck Maniac. Today we have our special guests, our southern cousins and brethren, the bear and the beard. Welcome. Welcome. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Brosius Mayo, as we say. Word. Well, let's come correct and start this off with a bang. <laughs> Pow. A boom. How exactly are we going to do that? Hit it, Beck. Hey, gang. You a little thirsty today? Obviously. Uh, we need to blast off with something extreme. Why go extreme when you can go severe? I'll set you up with drink of the day, crimson kryptonite. This spirit isn't just any mineral. It's in the same solar system as Earth, in the same orbit, but on the opposite side of the sun. What's up, Orange Lightning? Not much, Glittering Gale. You look a little down. Yeah, I didn't get any sleep last night. Crime fighting until 2.30 a.m. Just got a call that three Dementids are destroying the financial district. Oh, I gotta go deal with that. Got no energy. Well, get with the program. We're not Santa. We don't save the world with milk and cookies. We need power. After you drink one of these, you'll beat the Dementors to death with one arm while eating a sandwich with the other. Oh my god! I feel great! One ounce of bullet bourbon, one bar spoon of dark sherry, and bitter roasted coffee liqueur. Three quarter ounces of Campari, two rock candy infused ice cubes, and a grapefruit twist. The Crimson Kryptonite will recharge those tired superpowers and make you invincible, an unstoppable crime fighter that would scare the shit out of any villain. All right, everybody, let's do a cheers. Thanks, cheers. Johnny. Cheers. Chindan. <laughs> <laughs> Not throw me <laughs> Oh. I'm feeling a, a little weird. And now that you mention it, I'm feeling a little strange myself. I'm feeling off. Like, I'm changing. But I don't want to freak anyone out. I, I don't want to say anything. Maybe it's food poisoning from that damn hot dog cart. Bear, you think you have food poisoning? 
You should never, ever eat the hot dogs from the hot dog cart. Every real New Yorker knows the water they boil them in is funky. Um, I didn't say anything. I just heard your thoughts. My God, I am fleeting thought. Oh, wait, hold on. Let let me try something real quick. (laughs) Holy shit, I'm flying phlegm mouth. Do you guys have any powers? Sadness. (laughs) (laughs) You make everybody sad. (laughs) It it won't be hard nowadays. (laughs) If I'm not imagining these huge metal fists that appeared, then I guess I now have metal arms. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Now you can can... punch through some serious walls with those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he can demolish some creatures or whatever the hell could come down and try and mess with our city. Does anybody else feel like they're gaining some type of power? How about you, Beard? Uh, I'm actually over here. Can can you see me? Where'd he go, man? I can hear him. No, I don't. No. Oh, shit. I'm invisible. invisible. No (laughs) shit. Wow. Great. All right. I'm over here. (laughs) (laughs) Bring us a Valentine while you're over here. I'm just sneaking around everywhere. <laughs> Very light on your feet. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk meets Spider-Man. Each figure a foot tall and fully posable. All you need is a piece of string and here comes Spider-Man. Avalanche! This is a job for the Hulk. The Incredible Hulk with a face that's mean. Lots of muscle and skin that's green. Good job, handsome. The Incredible Hulk and Spider-Man from the Superhero Collection, each sold separately by Mego. I have a bit of a question for all the rest of you maniacs. If you had to be a supervillain, what kind of villain would you be? What would be your name and what would you do? So we'll start with our guests. Uh, how about uh, the bear? What would you What would you say? I had to be a supervillain? <sighs> I guess it would really depend on my power, but it would really be more important to have a good hero to go up against. I feel like I'd be a lot like Megamind, just Mm. trying to come up with new schemes that always fail. Because I don't want to be a bad guy, but I really want to be a bad guy. (laughs) Okay. Does he have any powers or anything or just he just Mega Mind was just yeah really smart but other than that like uh, like a bad uh, Lex Luthor yeah yeah bad Lex Luthor that that would be me <laughs> okay bad so, Lex Luthor okay what would your origin story be what made you the villain um my main arch nemesis pissed me off because he cut me off in traffic and I spent the rest of my days trying to devise a plan to take nice. him out <laughs> yeah yeah that sounds. Sounds similar to the origins of my supervillain, but yeah, go ahead. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? The Planner. Sounds very <laughs> ominous. <laughs> it does. It really does. Who, who's on the phone? The Planner. Oh, fuck. We gotta, we gotta yeah. figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All That'd right. be a supervillain I'd call on. I don't know. You just call the Planner. He, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, well, and then he'd Except send us- plans don't work. <laughs> yeah, we'd go to the wrong club back- <laughs> No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you, Beard? Um, how about your, your supervillain? My supervillain would probably steal a lot of money. Nice. Teleportation, probably. That way he can go in and not hurt anyone. He'll just like teleport in, take what he needs, teleport out. Kind of a jumper vibe. What about no. your name? Yeah. Jumper. Why not? Let's just not be original. <laughs> jumper. <laughs> a wish money my back from that ledge, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> third eye blind <laughs> yeah so uh <laughs> what, so what, is what the, was what, your origin story were you crippling poor? debt crippling, crippling debt. debt sounds familiar oh my god <laughs> sounds so familiar all right what about you back oh well i was provoked because i live in the northeast by always having to clear my driveway during the winter i despise shoveling or snow blowing and i hated my neighbors who could afford to be plowed And I also hated bugs in the summer that would just drop on me. So I became the very thing I despised. My supervillain name would be Bug Blitz Bomb Cyclone. And I would be able to uh, control the storms, you know, like I could make them intensify rapidly. And then anywhere that's warm, I'd bring on a bug blitz and rain down horrific shit like venomous spiders and locusts. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I like that. Everybody hates bugs, dude. And winter storms. I mean, who wants a bunch of snow dumped on them, you know? Well, what about uh, you, Jay? Well, my villain's going to be called the City Screamer. 
See, we live in New York okay. City, and nothing pisses me off more than when you're trying to get down the street and there's this one person clogging up a 12-foot-wide sidewalk, right? Or you hear the tr- the subway coming, and you're running down the steps, and there's some fucking person just doop de doop down the steps, and then you end up missing the train. So the city screamer, I would go around New York City, and if you walk slow and clog up the, the sidewalk, I'm just going to scream at you, and you're going to melt. Like you know a banshee? I mean? Yeah, I'm going to go, ah! And then you're just, <laughs> and then you're just gonna go whoa, and you're gonna melt. Or if you're going down the sidewalk, uh, the subway steps, and you're going really slow, and people miss the train, you're getting screamed at, and you're gonna melt. That is so. absolutely terrifying. Would that your is. arch nemesis be the town crier? Well, let me tell you something. I would be, I would suddenly be the hero of the city. <laughs> If you ask any New Yorker what pisses you off the most, it's exactly these things. So we, the city needs the city screamer. So, so you'd only be a villain if you went somewhere else, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, right. I'm murdering people, but well, think, that yeah, <laughs> that's but that's I think true. It's a, but it's it'd be way worse cause. if you were in, in Nashville or something, walking around just screaming. <laughs> I'd be, I, I wouldn't be doing anything because they'd be walking appropriately. But here oh, in New York City, so? okay. in New York City, move your ass. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> fucking move. <laughs> <laughs> and they know it. You should know it. It's the number one thing that, you know. It's so otherwise- true. Yeah, it's terrible. My, my partner came in from a very slow town and she walks so slow. I'd go, you need to pick up the pace. We need to get moving. You know, grocery stores, you got to move, move, move. And now she's the one that's the city screamer. She's like, get out of the damn aisle. Like, <laughs> it's pretty horrific that we have no patience and we're terrible. We're terrible. <laughs> so anyway, what a great bunch of villains. I just would like to point that out. What would our, yeah. um, what about, what if we had to form like a sinister six? Like what would be, because we're pretty fucked up weirdos. A sinister Who six? There's only targeting? four of us. Where no, are the but, other two people? No, but I mean, <laughs> well, the, the Sinister Six is like a group of villains, and they call themselves that. What would we call Legion our... of Doom. <laughs> Le- isn't that already taken? Is it? So it's Sinister Six. <laughs> well, yeah, we we could be the the we could be the mischievous four. Yeah. I love that. I like that. Yeah, I, I like love that. that. <laughs> yep, mischievous, mischievous four. four. Watch the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> we have great plans. They just don't always work. <laughs> and, and all of them are funded. <laughs> <laughs> and hurry up and we'll if you don't like you. bugs you're really gonna hate us <laughs> yeah <laughs> how the hell would the, would the superheroes combat us man it'd be we're just they'd be unique. confused like we would confuse them for sure yeah what do we even do to them we just kind of stay out of their way <laughs> we're we're just a heavy inconvenience yeah <laughs> <laughs> Like we're the we're the call that the Avengers get. It's like, oh yeah, by the way, the mischievous four are doing something downtown. I think the screamer killed somebody. There's some snow and some bugs. There's actually money flying around. We don't know where that came from. And there's this one dude standing around going, No, wait, you're supposed to be over there. <laughs> They're just like send Spider Man. We don't. We can't handle this today. We have bigger. Send problems. the cops. Not even Spider Man. This is <laughs> yeah, the send, time. send the NYPD. Boom pow and brawlholics. So now is a little segment that we call. It used to be the beatboxing game, but it's terrible. So now it's the terrible beatboxing game. This is uh, this is going to be fun for you too. And uh, <laughs> is it? Do you want to explain this? It is back? Uh, this is one of our listeners' favorite segments. <laughs> We've only done it like twice, but people seem to love it. So uh, you're you're in on the experiment again. You're going to play against each other. You're yeah. going to buzz in to win. It's going to be kind of crazy. So just do the best. You- <laughs> so this is a, so y'all are beatboxing things that we're trying to guess what they are. Yes, there. It's a terrible beatbox nerd edition for you guys. Um, it could be anything, but we're, we're trying to do, you'll get a lot of these. I don't think you should. It's, have too many. it's superhero mixed with sci-fi type of themes okay yeah yeah okay is. guys here's your first one Hulk smash! that's spider-man all right nice very good very very good all right beard one bear nothing here is the second one dent did a 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 dent Yes. 20th Century Fox. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> keep, keep going, Jay. Keep going. Hulk smash! That, Go that is Superman theme song? You got it. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> one to one. Man, that oh man, that, that one gets me especially hyped when the movie starts with Christopher Reeve. You know? <laughs> I don't even know what the hell the new Superman theme is. I don't either. Uh, whatever. I think it's always a variation of the same thing. It's it's a dark, depressing version of the same thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Here is the next ditty. Go ahead, man. There you go. Oh, see, you're not. You need to get a little crazier, Jay. I was, you know, you're really giving it. You, you, it's easy. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, even when I try, they come out awful. So I mean, I, I don't know what's going on with me today. Maybe I got you're, sleep. You're on the money. <laughs> this one might be a little harder. I got to give you the beat. You give me the beat, and I'll do the other shit. <laughs> nothing keep it going keep it going okay feel like i know it but that's about it i i i wanted to go with the old school one then do the old school one maybe they'll know it okay give give me a little you know a little disco that's wonder woman yes nice. okay what you, you mean you couldn't okay. get the fucking wonder woman from <laughs> actually, actually i haven't heard the wonder woman theme enough to know it by memory i was trying to i tried to mute because I, I was laughing so hard and i forgot to unmute but i did say it i was like the bear wonder woman but then i look up and i was muted so... <laughs> oh, holy shit All right, this is a slow, <clears throat> a slow one. It's not beatboxing because I can't beatbox. All right, ready, guys? Ready. Ready. Cling, 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 cling. Cling, 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 cling. Go ahead. That's uh the Hulk. Yes, yes, we're good. Yes. Oh my god, I'm a terrible Hulk fan. <laughs> I'm a terrible Hulk that's fan. The, that's the song from the end of the Hulk series. That, when he's uh, hitchhiking. Yeah. It, I hear it now. It is the most... <laughs> when you're in the depths, that's what you hear. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's called The Lonely Man. Right <laughs> yes, it's called The Lonely Man. The Lonely Man. Oh my god. <laughs> What did they do to us in the 70s when we were two years they old? They wanted us to slice our wrists before we made it to our teenagehood. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That okay. takes me back to the episode where they tried to make Thor a thing in the Hulk show. Oh my god, it was and terrible. And they put the fur coat on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my favorite though is Fry Hulk, because he always mm -hmm. makes weird faces. Uh, and he's like just so skinny and he's holding his own against the Hulk. It's ridiculous. Okay, Beck, are we ready for the next one? I am. Do I got nothing. I don't know the answer, but it sounded like believe it or not. Yes, that's it. That's it. Okay. Who was the point coach on that one? We'll just call the push. We'll but he got it. Oh, well, that fine. He gets it then. There's no right. money involved here. Who cares? No, I know, I know. But we're we're trying to figure out who the winner is here. Yeah, I don't know who it was. <laughs> who was the bear? Okay, the bear. All right. Okay. Point to you. What what is the score, by the way? Anyway, you're asking me. You're supposed Four to be tallying. <laughs> I'm supposed to be tallying. You're the host, well, we'll man. You got to tally. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're potheads. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's four to two bears in the lead, man. Come on, Beard. Okay, yes, step it up. You got to represent for the younger generation. <laughs> here's the next one. This is going to be very fast, okay? Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Hulk smash! All right, is that wait, Jaws? Wait. Nope. No. Okay, okay see if Bear can take the lead here. See, right, see if he can take the win. 
Okay, keep going. Bum, 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 bum. Go ahead. Yes. Flash Gordon. There yes. you go. Flash. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Save yeah. every one of us. <laughs> when the show The Flash put that in for one of the first season episodes, right? that was so incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do have to point out, too, that the Hulk and the Flash are the Beard's favorite two superheroes. <gasps> I'm hurting right now emotionally. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. I mean, that was made for Flash Gordon, not The Flash. But true, still, true. I should know it. So well, it was four to two. Now it's four to three. And who was in the lead? Uh, the it's Bear. Uh, be five to two now. Five to two. Yeah. Five I two. have yeah. two. Okay. The Beard is two. The Bear is four. Is five. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Beck, do you know this next one? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to? Let me cue it up real quick. Because it's it's like a like a little. It's a gling- slow one again. It's a glingy type of thing. It doesn't <clears> really require. Do you want to do the glinging? You're good at the glinging. Or I do. Uh, it. I'll go. It. Yeah, you, you do it. Okay. Here we go. Do 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 do. Gling 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 gling. Hulk smash. Yes. That Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> All right. Five to three. Yes. He's catching just, up, man. He could still just catch that up. Second one last night, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Beck. I'll yeah. do the uh like the bongo yeah. type of thing. Yep, yep. I okay. Got you. <laughs> okay, you're right. right hold go. on. I actually have bongos. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I actually have bongos. Hold on. I know. Like, where the hell did you get bongos from? <laughs> Why didn't you bring these out in season one, man? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me tune it up a bit. Okay. You can tune up a bongo? Okay. <laughs> gotta, war- gotta warm up the pads, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Becky, are you ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. That's uh, Star Trek. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> what the bot? You, you mean you think you couldn't tell from this? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I was like, uh, I can't remember the last time I actually heard Bongos. <laughs> <laughs> now my hands are all dusty. They've been on the fucking. <laughs> Great. I can't believe people get get these but back, to be honest with you. I can't. Uh, I'm in total shooketh. I'm shooketh. Okay. Uh, let me think. I think this one. Should you, I just do, do the riff? You want to do the drum roll? All okay. right. I'll start it. <clears throat> ready? Okay. Yeah. You come in and help me. I can do a bongo beat. All right. Do a bongo beat. <laughs> okay. Ready? Here we go. Da, 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 da. Indiana Jones. That's yes! it. <laughs> There's That's three it. songs that I feel like sound so similar. That, um, one of the Star Wars ones, and the Superman theme song, if they're played in the right parts, they sound very similar. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, the Superman one. Yeah, the uh, Superman one would have got me. I would have been like, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Bear, you are victorious. And, congratulations. Um, congratulations. You get you. <laughs> well, that was terrible beatboxing. Maybe in the future, mediocre beatboxing. Boom. From U8 Studios, the start of a new kind of hero. Meet radical round kick boomer, where at the tender age of 10, everything changed. You never listen to me. How many times do I have to tell you to clean your room? And how many times do I have to goddamn tell you to shut your fucking pie hole? Watch your tone with me, or I'll wash out your mouth with soap, boomer. And why don't you wash your face? Because it's stupid looking. And get the fuck out of my room because I'm trying to read my comic book! <laughs> he went from a normal boy to special, from ordinary to extraordinary. Oh, is this boy shit? Come back here, you fucking boy! <coughs> I'll take your fucking beat <coughs> and shove it up the fucking. <coughs> here I am! I came back. Yeah, I shit on your head. What are you fucking gonna do about it, punk? Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just kicked that fucking pigeon into another universe. I'm a motherfucking superhero. A hero was born, a savior to the city. And with that, 
comes great responsibility. Here you go, Boomer. At two point lows. Say hi to your mom for me. Don't you fucking talk about my mom, you jaff. And give me two new point lows. These are fucking stale. Don't piss me off, you fucking asshole. Hey, give me all your money and a box of cannoli with powdered sugar. Whoa, hey, asshole. I'm busy here. Can't you see he's helping me? Wait your fucking turn. Can't you see I'm trying to rob this place? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn, kid. Where'd you get roundhouse kick? You got the boom. Explosive action. Intrigue. Suspense. Mystery. Romance. I just saved your goddamn cat, Chloe. No fucking kiss. Catch the adventure that the New York Times has called the must-see event of the winter. The New York Post has deemed it the life-changing event that will have you questioning your place in this world. The Daily News has said, this kid needs help and his mother should send him to juvie. Radical Round Kick Boomer, the origin story of an unlikely champion, only in theaters, streaming to January 13th, 2022. Hey, Jay. Yeah? Uh, the light on the Panasonic 13 is flashing. Why don't you go ahead and see what kind of message we got? Uh, okay, I'll do it. Hold on. Okay. Hi, Maniacs. It's Rob Lowe here. I have a question for you. And let's face it, Jay Maniac. You're not as handsomely stunning as I am, and you're poor. <laughs> if all those little digits on both hands and feet were worth $100,000, and your limbs were worth a million, what would you cut off? And remember, Jay Maniac, don't compare your insides to someone else's outsides. Rob Lowe, why don't you grab that bandana from fucking St. Elmo's Fire and your saxophone and go fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> Rob Lowe is gorgeous and he's using it against you. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Okay, so we All have right. the question. All of our digits, digits. are our pink, our little toes, our fingers are worth 100 grand, right? Yeah. And if we cut off an arm or a leg, that's a million. Yeah. Um, how about you, Beck? Why don't you go first? Oh shit. Um <clears throat> let's see. I think I need everything. Uh <laughs> but I might be able to get away with a pinky toe. Okay, two pinky toes. That's two hundred thousand. Yeah. I feel like you need the pinky on your hand. Yeah. So I'm gonna go let's see. With a ring finger uh -huh. on one hand, my left. Uh, yeah, John Wick got cut his off and he was fine. He was still kicking okay. people's asses. It was a ring finger? I think so. Yeah, he took his ring off and then they cut it. I think they cut that one off. All right. So that's 300,000. That's as far as I'm going. What about you guys? <laughs> uh, how about you, Beard? Any? Uh, what would you cut off? couple pinky toes on my feet because you don't actually need those so that's 200 right. grand maybe my left thumb i use my right thumb i can go without my yeah. left thumb that's gonna... 300 thousand. you taking any uh limbs off for a mil i like my limbs <laughs> okay okay I i'll, I'll stop at 300k oh he's with me we're both going 300 all right all right how about you bear what are you cutting off that's a hard question. <laughs> um, I think I'm with y'all on the pinky toes. I'll go ahead and cut both of those off. Okay. That's two hundo. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to cut one pinky toe off on my left foot. Or no, on my right foot. And then I'm just going to cut off my left leg. Oh, so shit. A million, a million oh, and a hundred thousand. Okay. Because, I mean, I'm not a track star runner now. I will never be a track star runner in the future. I feel like with the way technology is progressing, I could get a really good replace replacement. Oh, you totally could. Yeah, They're one of those cheap. little iron legs or whatever. <laughs> I kind of like that answer. Me. I like that yeah. answer. Yeah. It's making me think, man. Do I just want to lop something off and just... Um, I was thinking my left arm and just getting like a claw or... <laughs> So, all right, my left. So, Inspector Gadget will be walking around with a okay. claw. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The claw. <laughs> well, I, I've seen Robert Downey Jr. give away Iron Man arms to people who are like amputees, and it works. So, I'm my left arm is completely useless. It's it's wonky. So, I'm cutting off my left arm. <laughs> you have I, a 
wonky can, left arm. I didn't. <laughs> it's fucking. It gets in my way. I can play Miss Pac Man with my right hand. So who gives a shit? Oh, so okay, okay. I'm cut. All right, I'm cutting off my left leg and my left arm, and I'm getting. Oh fucking... my god, <laughs> you could be going in circles, Jay. <laughs> yeah, but I can play a game. We can still podcast. If I go to the rave, I can still bop around a bit. So you know, I I want two. I need fucking money, dude. I'll two do mil. The... Two mil. You could definitely get an easy job at IHOP. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my left arm will be like Ultron's. It'll just be like. And there you go. I translated, you, you know, what you needed or, you know, transcribed. Like it maybe can move really fast and type, you know. Well, let's hope that two million covers that technology for you. Oh, one has some money left over. <laughs> uh, I mean, he, Sebastian Stan looked cool with a metal left arm. So legs, that's... I feel like are cheaper. It's just like a stick thing, you know, but an arm yeah. you need more circuitry and stuff in it. That would take care of my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll have, buy an arcade and then be all set, you know? That would get me officially down to Mississippi. <laughs> I guess we're going to be, was we were the mischievous four, but yeah. we're going to be like the mischievous three and a half because we're going to have some yeah. missing things. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half men. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob Lowe, and take your saxophone and shove it up your ass. Electricity. So fine. Mistress Midnight, you look like hell. Let's get you a drink. Seriously, back hit it. Where'd he go? Is he on another smoke break again? Damn it. I'll get my own Valentine's. We don't have time. We've got a little bit of a problem here, maniacs. Well, we have superpowers now. What can we do? That's a lucky break. I guess it's now all on you, Spaztastic Four. How long are we going to be doing this for? Until I can regain my strength. I have to go, but before I do, let me reroute the SOS calls to you, maniacs. <laughs> Oi, where are you going? I'm going to heal. Where's that? Only one question per visit. Until next time, maniacs. Would you look at that? She uh, really must be hurt. She actually used the door. Let's cheers to fighting crime. Not throw me, everybody. <laughs> cheers. 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 We're going to be the drunk spastastic for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You and your other friends. Spider-Man! Can you tell us who is who? The Flash! Is Superman on the left? No, right! Underoos look out of sight! Superman! All of us were all good guys! The Hulk! You can pick your favorite if you try! Yes, you can! Underwear is fun to wear! It's true when it's you and your underoos! Wow, now there's the Dukes from the Dukes of Hazzard! Oh, Luke and General Lee! It's true, are all on your underoos! And now it's time for a little dastardly game. It's this or that or funny money. Yeah. So we're going to give, we're going to alternate Beck and I, and we're going to give you guys some crazy questions and just answer them however you'd like. Do you want to start it off, Beck, with one of yours? Sure. I'll start with the bear. This is right. a this or that. It's similar to would you rather. So you're just going to pick one that fits better for you. Save the world, but no one remembers you. Or get all the superpowers in the world, but have to leave Earth forever. Ooh. <laughs> Do I remember that I saved the earth? Yes, but nobody else. One. You get no, no notoriety. Yeah, I don't care. I'll save the earth. I'll selfless act. That's a good <laughs> answer. I would have picked that one myself. What a good guy. He's, he's a maniac, but he's a good maniac. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of me sitting in a rocking chair telling my grandkids that I saved the earth and all of them going, <laughs> oh, there's nothing online about it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't Stop. happen, Grandpa. You're just crazy. <laughs> Are you just crazy? Are you showing them a picture and they're like, that's not in 20k that looks fake yeah. right 
Here's for the beard. Have invisibility, but can never be seen ever. Or have super speed, but can never slow down. Invisibility, because people can still hear me. So as long as I like, okay, do the, do the clothes I put on turn invisible? You just, you're stuck how you're stuck invisible all the time. You just can't ever be full at all. No you're one can invisible. see a hat on me or something. Nothing. I'll still choose invisible. I, I, I can still be around people. They just won't see me. Yeah, you can like still go ghost. to movies. You can still play games, you know? Yeah, you'll just be like a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is for the bear you have laser eyes but you puke everywhere every time you use them okay or you can fly but when you land your eyes bleed uncontrollably for how long do the eyes bleed uncontrollably yeah you know, just like a nosebleed type of situation you might have to stuff some like a q-tip oh, okay. in there um wow oh <laughs> <laughs> That that is a hard one because my answer would I would think would be the laser eyes, but then I think like how often would I use that? Like yeah, yeah. The flight I could use all the time as long as when I land, it's like oh hold on, hold on, I bleed, I bleed, hold on, hold on. Someone give me my tissues. Yeah. There's no and there's no shoving a tampon in there for that. So that's. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with flight just just for to be able to fly. I'll just I guess I'll like carry a carry a roll of tissue paper with me everywhere I go. I think I like it would it. look cool too when he lands and starts bleeding from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that would intimidate the bad guy or whatever, you know? Holy crap! For sure, <laughs> this dude's scary looking, man. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is for the beard. Um, do you want to go on vacation with the Joker or spend the holidays with Carnage? You'd be ordering Ooh. a cocktail. <laughs> Do you know how I got these scars? There's there's no fun with Carnage. (laughs) Carnage is always going to be killing. Joker will kill, but not so much that you can't also have a good time. So Joker. Okay. All right. Good. I like that. I might not come back alive from vacation. What if you get him drunk? Then he'll just you just put him in a corner. (laughs) Uh, yeah. your, take the knives away from him and just strap him in. Hey, look, there's Batman over there. Go get him. Yeah. yeah. You you wind up being Bruce Wayne's punching bag. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> Joker's in a bar, you're hanging out with him, and all of a sudden Batman shows up to you know, like whatever, and it's like, Hey, Batman. We were trying to have, have a new nice friend here. This out. Batman <laughs> had to come in and ruin it. Yeah, exactly. And the Joker usually has money. I, you know, I, I buy around for everybody, you know? Free drinks. Right. Okay, I've got a funny money for each of you, and we're going to start with the bear again. For $21,362, you have to shit yourself in public once a year for the rest of your life. No diaper, one-time payment only. Would you take it? Yes. <laughs> Wait. That was quick. <laughs> oh, yes, well, for sure. The, yeah. the question is... Do I have control over when, like, do I get to choose it or does it happen to me randomly? No, uh, ooh, that's a good no, question. You, you might be in Christmas mass, dude, and they're giving you the host and then all of a sudden. So, yeah, so if it's random, still yes, but it's it's a lot more inconvenient. It is. But if I get to choose it, definitely, because it's like, okay. all right, I'm going to go probably every New Year's Eve. I'm just going to go out to a bar and just be like, all right, shit, get her done. Now the year, the year's done. <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> Blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> and then you're. 21 million richer (laughs) right okay this one's for the beard for 101 million 236 thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars you have to wear wet socks every time you get dressed and you have to constantly have a popcorn kernel stuck in your teeth at all times would you take the money oh the Um, socks thing is terrible to me dude um, the socks would bother me way too much it sounds stupid to give up that much money, but I could not handle the wet socks. So no. <laughs> yeah. 101 million are wet socks. Only when you're dressed. Well, it would piss you off constantly though. You know, That's it's true. so uncomfortable, but that also means when you're getting dressed to go to the pool or the beach, like when you're putting on swim trunks, you were getting dressed. So then you also have to put on a pair of wet socks. Wet socks. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. And you got to walk around the beach with wet socks. Very valid. <laughs> Okay, he's turning down 101 mil. All right, so those are your two, right, Beck? Yes. This is a micro funny money. It's a little bit less, but not as drastic. So we'll go with the, I wrote beard first. We'll go with the beard for 50 grand. It's your best friend's birthday. And on the card, you write, happy birthday, have a great day, whatever. (laughs) 
<laughs> 50 grand he just has to say happy birthday have a great day whatever yeah I, I said that to disaster the other day when i was putting her to bed she goes what should i what should i sign the card with and i said to say happy birthday have a great day whatever she's like i can't put that <laughs> i absolutely would put that on a card because my friends would think that's hilarious <laughs> okay and it's a quick 50k so so yeah there we go <laughs> all right not too bad okay bear um for 50 grand same amount of money uh you're strolling down the street there are eateries where people can sit outside and eat outdoors so you stand next to a random person and you look at them and you go how you doing and then you grab their fries and dip it in their ketchup and start eating their fries and looking at them in the eye it could be an old lady could be a kid it's a random random pick it's just a random my luck would go is the random bubble would appear over the like this huge jacked gym nazi guy like <laughs> they'd be like, Chris, like really or... like his french fries <laughs> yeah that that that's his cheat day meal yeah, exactly is his fries and it's like oh okay yeah i'm gonna do that and then i just walk up and go hey how's it going <laughs> um <laughs> can you smile while you're doing it that's the question <laughs> yeah, you gotta be a jerk when you're doing it you gotta look them in the eye and like mm, these, are, um, these are great fries did you know I'm that just, i'm turning i'm turning right. that down just because the, the the probability that i'm gonna get someone that could beat me up and would is not good enough for 50 grand Sorry. <laughs> yeah 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 i'm with them on that one yeah my luck would be it would be chris hemsworth on his cheat day as well so <laughs> Now, see, if it, if I knew it was Chris Hemsworth, I would do it because then at least I get to say, hey, I'm the guy that got punched by Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. <laughs> True. He might not want to get sued, too, and ruin the Marvel, his, his standings in Marvel. So he might, you know, be all over TMZ. Chris, Chris Hemsworth punched some guy just for taking a fry. See, I know? feel like Chris Hemsworth would just let him have the whole box of fries. I agree with that. Yep. I feel like that's how he'd handle it. Like, you He's want such that a beautiful bad? person. <laughs> yeah. He's just such a beautiful person. Yeah. We are UH. UH. Uh, I mean, uh, Spastastic Four, what do you want? Help. I need help. Can you be more specific, please? It's huge. I'm fighting it with everything I've got. What are you fighting, ma'am? I've even used my gripper to try to defeat it. It's too heavy. Too much for me. I need help now. Have you fallen and can't get up? Just help me now. I'm on the third floor. Apartment third. What the hell? I think it's apartment three, Beck. Okay, we got this, guys. Man the phones while we take care of this. <laughs> Ethel, you there, Ethel? Ah, uh, I'm in here. Where are you? I'm in the bedroom. No, you're not. Where are you? I'm sorry. I meant the attic. There is no attic, Ethel. I'm sorry. I meant I'm in the bathroom. Beck, you better deal with this. Oh, okay. Okay. What the hell? You're not in the bathroom. Quit playing games, Ethel. We have crime to fight. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm in the study. I got this, Beck. I'm on my way. God damn it. We're leaving, Ethel. I'm in the kitchen. Help. You better be or we're out. There you are. Help me with this beast. What seems to be the problem? I, I, um, I can't open up this jar. Are you serious? You called us to open up a jar of salsa? To be fair, jars are a pain in the ass to open. Well, how am I supposed to eat my chips without salsa? G give it to me. I I'll get it open. Uh, uh, this shit isn't budging. Uh, she's right. It's a beast. You try, Jay. I got this shit. Let me give it a shot. Fucking. Uh, 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 uh. All right. I'm just going to phlegm mouth it open. This should do it. <laughs> Scrape some off the walls. You'll be I. Right. UH Spastastic Four. Baron Beard here. How can we help? <laughs> Man, I just need your help. My, my son is out of control here. What's going on? Is it really an emergency? <sighs> I'm just trying to have a smoke here. I mean, you know, enjoy a beer, watch my fishing shows, and all hell's breaking loose, man. Let's get on it. Where are you located? We'll be there in a minute. Hi, guys. What warrants this visit? 
How can I help you? Well, uh, we got a call from your dad and you wanted to come in and check things out. Yeah, check things out. Oh, uh, come in, come in. It's uh quite a mess in here. Uh, so he flipped this table here because he doesn't want to eat his vegetables. Then he smashed the fish tank over there because one of them apparently looked at him sideways. I mean, fish's eyes are on the side of their head, aren't they? I mean, and then he broke my guitar over his knee because he doesn't like me playing third eye blind anymore. I don't get it. He used to love it when he was a kid. I miss his baby days. No, father, that was you. See, my father here lost his promotion at the bottle recycling center. Some job there, dad. Maybe you've had one too many beers today. You're the one that needs saving. What should we do, Bear? Should we leave? Stay? It's okay. My father's having a rough day. Everything's fine. Well, all right. You've got our number if you need anything. I think something's really going on in there. We need to make sure no one's getting hurt. We are superheroes after all. Let's double check. Holy shit, kid. Put down the bottle. See? I, I told you. I'm... I'm fearing for my fucking goddamn life over here. And it's not like it's a euphemism, man. I mean, he, he fucking took a beer bottle out of my hand when I was drinking it, smashed it, and pointed the shards at me. You get it, man? He was going to fucking glass me just because I took took one of his little games out of his Z-Box. I'm fucking losing my mind here. Is that true, kid? No, I just have a cramp in my arm. Stretching it out. Dad's just a little heartbroken because Kathy dumped him last week. Well, Brad, you wouldn't mind if we borrowed your Z-Box now, would you? Give you a little break? Now you listen to me, and you listen good. I want that Z-Box, and I want it now. You will place that console at your feet and step back away from it. <sighs> Hurry up, man. Just, just fucking break it. Go ahead. Do it. I don't care. Break his shit. Break it all. Break it! Damn, they've been gone a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. I wonder uh, what kind of call they got. I hope it was more exciting than opening a jar of salsa. Whoa, what happened to you guys? You want me to call you an ambulance? Yeah, what happened? Don't ask. Beer. We need beer. Yeah, lots of beer. Valentines are in the fridge. Have at it. Open up. Open up or we're going to fry you with our powers. <laughs> oh, Mark. Mark again. Jeez. Mark! Are... Hey, Mark. Can't you just... All right, what, whatever. What's going on? Oh, you got packages? Oh, snap. Okay. Um, Where are we meeting later? The roller rink? Did I... can, we, can we drink there? Oh, okay. I'll bring a little flask too. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Peace, bro. All right, Baron Beard, we got a, a package for you, so here you go. Oh, the beard. Love to know what you guys got. Open them up, man. Open them up. Oh, it's more than one. Okay. An airplane. A stealth airplane. A stealth airplane. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can put it on the desk and pull it back and it'll go. Okay. But like every every superhero has a plane, right? The, I think the Hawkeye drove one and like... Wonder Woman. Absolutely. <laughs> He yeah. sounds so thrilled. <laughs> I want to miniaturize myself and actually fly around in this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have these awesome Dynamo color capture washing pads. <laughs> <laughs> They're superhero strength. <laughs> right? It's for when you want to wash that Spantex leotard and not get any on your regular clothes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Specialist sift shift. Uh, some woman with some swords that looks pretty badass. Alpha Team One. I think she beat up Black Widow and a couple others, so she's you know. Oh, that's cool. She, she did. I don't know. That's I. For, I think I forgot to write. <laughs> I forgot to write the description on the back that we usually write. <laughs> I have a 
Bam Pow Binder. Oh, on the back she's go. got like stats for her power ratings. Strength is only a three. Speed is a six out of eight. Agility is a seven out of eight. And stamina is four out of eight. And durability is three out of eight. Yeah, she she's in the back of the group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she probably belongs to our group. Yeah. <laughs> He got a Bam got Pow binder. Person. Yeah, it's really cool. Very Put your flexible. Show notes in. <laughs> and the presents continue. What's this? What's this? Magic What's this? <laughs> okay, this is a movie. This is a. Uh, I'm gonna mispronounce this name. Jija Yanin, Raging Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> the Everyone. tagline from the Asian movie Pulse says that kick-ass girl from the hit movie Chocolate is back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so everyone needs a bad movie for their collection. <laughs> yes. Silverware? Now I don't have to wash dishes tonight. Plastic silverware. Well, plastic is going out of style. I gave somebody some plastic um, uh, straws last time, so now you get utensils. It's a collector's item. I'll use it all tonight. Yeah. I got a Wonder Woman 84 journal notepad. No fair. Amazing. And the pages are pink. The pages are pink. (laughs) Yeah, it's amazing. Let me ask you a question. When you open it, did it go? (laughs) (laughs) It did now. (laughs) (laughs) Is this a firecracker? No, this is candy. It's a flute candy. Remember we said the stick part you can pull? And it's the pink one, the good flavored ones. Yeah. Well, thank you for the good flavor. I don't think I'll be using the fork, knife, and spoon for that, though. That's okay. (laughs) I got a warrior mask. (laughs) It looks looks like they tried to mix the Lego Bionicles with Casey Jones from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The name of it is just warrior mask? Yeah, it's just warrior mask. Oh, just how original. <laughs> yeah. It's for ages three and up, so it's just for me. Yeah. Uh, I thought this was supposed to be bad presents. I'm actually excited about this. <laughs> Finger football. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Oh, I remember hey, they, those. Iron Man played that with Nebula in Endgame. Exactly. This is like nerdtastic. It's got goalposts, too, though, and a couple different footballs. That's really cool. Let's see. Ah. Oh! Power stick, beard balm for beard and stubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm the only one that actually shaves around my stuff. So I need that. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. I didn't know Power Stick made this stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they do. It's a stall at the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> it's made in the United States, though. A Batman <laughs> right. coloring book. Oh, no fair. Be and jealous. What's the back? Joker, Batman, and Robin. You cut them out and they're bookmarks. Oh, very cool. That's cool. To go with my Power Stick beard and stubble beard bomb, I also got Power Stick 3-in-1 beard wash. Every man needs a wash. A beard wash. Everyone needs a beard wash. <laughs> We take care of our cousins. (laughs) I was just wondering if I was going to have any crayons for my coloring book. (laughs) And lo and behold, I have 24 colors to choose from. Uh, But what's the name of the... Is it Crayola? It is... uh, How do you pronounce that? Lig lig something mark. Where the hell did you get those, J Maniac? <laughs> Fucking dollar store, man. Lig we mark. I, I hope a, I hope they work. I got a black ice little trees air freshener. <laughs> Mama Bear will not thank you, but I will, because it's my okay. favorite scent, actually. She hates it. Oh boy. <laughs> well, that's all my gifts. Hanging that up in the studio. I still I have a few more. All right, I'm gonna Yeah, he's got a few. I apologize for that. I I, I found things were jumping out at me. Yeah. I had to get them. Oh, I have a fortune pin. When I click it, it just tells me my fortune. So hey, no messy fortune cookie mess. Let's ask it questions. Is it is it the fortune telling thing? Yeah, let yeah. me take it out. Let's yeah. a, let's see let's get a question and see what what it tells us. It's really just inspirational things. So, uh, Jay Maniac, tell me how many times to click it, and I'm going to give you your inspiration. Okay, message. I want to know if I'm eventually going to pay off my student loan, so click it three times. You got this. Nice. Oh, all right. It says you nice. got this. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Beck, your question and your number of clicks. Is our podcast ever going to be trending? <laughs> Two clicks. Be happy. Nice. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Okay. kind of means be happy not shit is not gonna happen <laughs> <laughs> could mean be happy with what you got could be be happy that it is that that's it is true 
Oh, I got Pop Rocks. Everyone, I don't feel bad about the color. Hey, <laughs> three packs of Pop Rocks. All right. Oh, Spider-Man paint and display stained glass set. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Sun catchers. Yeah, they're, I, I forgot what they were actually called. <laughs> you did such a good job wrapping this. Thank back. you. You really did. <laughs> I got some super glue. That'll that'll come in handy. It's not brand name. It's just the original super glue. Because it it's super. It doesn't say what brand it is. <laughs> <laughs> By the same people who brought you Warrior Mask. <laughs> right. <laughs> and whatever and the, the hell brands gift. those are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The last gift is a super stretch toy. Super stretchy fun. Three and up. Oh, and I it's love a little, those things. Like, little army man, dude. And actually, I could paint this to make it look like classic Captain America. So that's, that's good. <laughs> I'm totally yeah. just playing with this little plane right now. Right? <laughs> is it is it moving when you pull it back? Does it go or is it broken? A little bit. It moves a little bit. Okay. Oh, well, all right. That's good enough, isn't it? I mean, a little we, bit's better than none. We can get halfway down the block to battle. I want time. it to fly. Like, literally fly, but it won't do it. That's <laughs> okay. why we put the bad in bad presence. <laughs> that did not work. And if I'm correct, when I was wrapping that, I think it's missing the front wheel. Is it missing the front wheel? <laughs> It is missing the front wheel. <laughs> yeah. No wonder yeah. it's not moving. <laughs> I considered taking it back, and I'm like, they're going to fucking look at me funny if I ask That's to take it. back a dollar toy. You should have said, I this plane is missing like the plane wheel from is Lost. more of a testament to how cool it is. It's meant to yeah, fly, and it's very drive. It's unique. Well, Maniacs, happy bad present. Hope you enjoy them. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. From U8 Studios comes a sequel to the worldwide record-setting smash hit, Radical Round Kick Boomer. The return. You're 58 years old now, Boomer, and you still haven't cleaned your room, and I'm tired of doing your laundry. You'll do what I goddamn say. I have superpowers. You're gonna scrub my skid marks, and you're gonna go into the kitchen and warm me up some mana got because I'm fucking hungry. What kind of fucking mom are you? You're gonna be the death of me one of these days, Boomer. You take after your father. Well, thank God for that. Otherwise, I'd be breaking mirrors when I looked at myself. Now get me a Valentine, Mom, or I'll roundhouse kick you into deep space where you'll be a perfectly preserved asshole specimen for some alien space race to find and probe. <laughs> a legend above all legends. So legendary, even legends think he's a legend. Who writes this? We, uh, we paid you to do uh, your job. Just uh, read the fuck lines and uh, keep going. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Paycheck's a paycheck, right? Yeah, you got it. Just uh, just continue and uh, keep going on with the magic. Thank you. Uh, yeah, will do. Help! I'm in the trunk of a car outside of Punjab's parking lot. Radical round kick boomer, please save me. Well, that's your fucking problem. I'm busy watching Meet the Roommates. What? Ra Radical round kick boomer? I, I need your help. I'm chained in an alley next to Dorcia. Daryl, Daryl, is that you? Yeah? Well, 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 you stole me a couple of large from the last time I saved you from those fucking Russian thugs. And I know you got it because you're eating that Dorcia. I, I can pay. In installments? Great. I'm not hearing you. Prank caller, prank caller. Well, uh, all right, all right. And I want 20 points on the VIG, or you're gonna end up in the East River, you fucking degenerate, yeah? I'll do anything you need, Boomer. Anything. Yeah. I'll get there after the cigarette and I shotgun my beer, and maybe I'll- Well, hurry! Don't you fucking interrupt me when I'm talking. Sentimental, heartfelt, and touching, says the village voice. Did, did I miss something here? No, it's, uh, it's all right there in black and white. Uh, I don't want to deal with the heads up unless you do, so just keep going, uh, and uh, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, Boomer. <laughs> I've got two fresh point loaves for your mother here. Just get in line. Look, I'm number 13. I'm next in line right here. Well, Mrs. Franklin just went out to move car. She was in front of a hydrant. So I can go fuck your daughter, come back on Friday and get to the front of the line? Didn't I save this place? Nah, you, 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 you give me a lot of disrespect here. Let's just give Miss Franklin a minute, huh? She's 85 years old. One of my eldest and most loyal customers. Hey, Pillsbury Doughboy, I've got no fucking time today. You're getting on my last goddamn knife. I'm fucking next, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now go grab my fucking points and a couple of lobster tail pastries. Okay, okay. 
While you're at it, throw in some pizzelles too. My grandma likes those and make sure they have fucking powdered sugar on them, you fuck face. Even greater action set pieces that will blow you away and even better gadgets this time around, says Richard Roper. Help, I'm being mugged. Shut up, will ya? I'm gonna laser them already. But that's a toy laser for a cat. So what do you want me to do about it? A masterful movie that massively movingly moved me monumentally mentions Michael Maddox. Holy shit. Whew. Help! This man is flashing me! Oh yeah? Yeah! Really? Yeah, really, can't you see? You don't say. Help! He's gyrating! Please do something! <coughs> what are you doing? Roundhouse kick him, Boomer! Eh, the cops will deal with it. It's their fucking problem. I'm too old for this shit and I got sciatica in my ass cheek. Arriva Derchi. Radical Round Kick Boomer, the return, the rebooted, reimagined, repurposed, retrofitted sequel to get your money you've all been waiting for. Well, maybe not all, but, you know. In theaters, February 13th, 2022. Seriously, like two months after the first one? That was actually uh, one month. Uh, thank you. Ah, well, I should have taken those pain pills with this vodka then. <laughs> uh, we have a no drug policy. You're fired. Thank you very much. <sighs> I'm sorry, I, that was mid snort. What were you saying? <laughs> I was saying, uh, well, fuck, have you killed if you, uh, don't do your job, so thank you. Now hurry up and get your fucking tickets before I die already. This next game is called Bang, Mary Kill Superhero Edition. I'm going to give you three superheroes or antiheroes, and you got to pick which one you'd bang, marry, or kill. So the first one is Wonder Woman, and we're going with Linda Carter, dude. We're going with Linda. She blows Gal Gadot out of the water. So it's Linda Carter, mm -hmm. okay? Catwoman is going to be Holly Berry, and there's only one Black Widow. So right. uh, we'll start with uh, the bear. What's your order of Bang, Mary Kill? And you also get a substitute if you don't like any of the three. You can substitute one. I'm going to go with... I was thinking about which one I was going to marry first. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah. Natasha Romanoff is Bang, Mary Linda Carter, and Kill Halle Berry's Catwoman. Sorry, <laughs> that was not exactly my favorite DC movie ever. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's kind of sort of what I was sort of thinking, but uh, we'll go with the beard. Killing Catwoman, fucking Linda Carter. Yeah. And yeah, marry Natasha Romanoff. Wow, that's good. That's good. Um, I'm going to marry Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. I'm going to bang probably the Black Widow and uh, kill Halle Berry. <laughs> But if I could do a swap, I'm going to get a little crazy because there's some hot superhero men, too. Uh, I might trade out my Wonder Woman for Iron Man or Captain America. So I, uh, I'm going Iron Man. I'm going to marry Iron Man because okay. wouldn't he be the best husband ever to have? Oh, I mean, he'd be partying with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He'd have the best shit. He'd be like, look what I invented for you today. And so I'm marrying him. Yeah. OK. What about you, Jay? I, uh, I used to work at a video store and I actually talked to Linda Carter and I was like, eh, eh. so I'm, I'm marrying Linda Carter for sure, dude. And she uh, still looks good, even though she was a raging alcoholic at one point. Really? Time. No shit. Yeah. Like, huge. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 hey, I, well, God, now I can't go to the bar or anything with her. Anyway, I'm still marrying her. <laughs> um, I'm going to swap... I'm going to swap Black Widow with Supergirl, Helen Slater from 1984. And I'm going to bang Supergirl, Helen Slater. And then I'm going to kill You're Catwoman. banging Helen Slater? You're going to... Wait a minute. You're trading Well, she's out. Supergirl, dude. She'll fucking break the bed with me, man. She'll, she'll you know, <laughs> collapse me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I want to... ScarJo is hey, way You better make sure you have some red sun lamps, because that's going to be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think ScarJo is okay, but I don't think she's that pretty. I think when you really look at, yeah, she's got a great body, but I don't think she's that. She's all that. She has a banging ass, man. Wait, hey, that's okay. Helen. Uh, but I that's do, cool. I do want to say, I do want to say that if if I got to like pick which version of Black Widow, it, it would definitely be Iron Man Two Black Widow. Yeah, with, or, with the with the bang. red like the red wavy hair. hair. Yeah, that's when she yeah. looked yeah. the best. I agree, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And now for an on the street. Well, really a rainy street. All right. This is Jay Maniac. I'm on the street. And I'm with... Kadar. I'm going to give you this or that. You got to pick one. And they're not good options, okay? Yeah. Well, they're not bad, actually. One, you can have x-ray vision. Or two, your hands can turn into anything you want. So if you get locked out of your car, you can go... And it would be a key, and you can unlock your car. 
or your house or whatever, all right? Wh all right. What are you picking? I'm picking X-ray vision. Why is that? Because I'll X-ray vision, you get to see um, probably more into, I think X-ray, you get to see inside things more. You know when you go to the doctor, you get an x-ray, they see your bones and oh, stuff. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Right, so an x-ray, I might be able to see, like, the body of something. Or maybe more, I can, maybe I could see um, more into things that I couldn't see if I didn't have it. You're thinking medically. All right. 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 I like that. That's actually really fucking good. Mm. All right. All right, that's it. He's uh, choosing x-ray vision. But besides medical, is there really another purpose? It seems like your hands transforming could be a, a more practical thing if you get locked out of your house, right? Right. Well, not just medical, but even I just feel like, X, like if you have x-ray vision, you might see things that people who have regular vision don't see. Maybe you'll see, maybe you'll see things in a, in a higher light or uh, you see how the X-Men are? Like, I think some, some of them have x-ray vision, like how they're able to detect something from afar. Maybe that's one way of x-ray. You might, you might see danger approaching. Right. Maybe I can, I'll get a sense that something's wrong and even maybe and that I wouldn't necessarily know if I didn't have it. Great answer. All right, Jay Maniac on the street. The world's greatest superheroes. Batman and Robin, the dynamic duo. Superman, the man of steel. Aquaman, the famous undersea crime fighter. Tarzan of the Apes. Shazam, now featured on network television. Captain America, fighting injustice the world over. Spider-Man, the weird wall climber. The super foes, the arch enemies of the superheroes. The super gals, Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, and Catwoman. Conan the Barbarian, with his sword of justice. Using his Viking power against evil. UH, Spastastic 4, what you fucking want? Electricity, so fine. Oh, hey, how you, how you doing? Don't worry about me. Check your email. Click on the first folder. Okay, there's people drinking bright colored drinks at a piazza. Looks like Sardinia, Italy. My favorite place. Johnny's serving drinks. Strange. Hmm. Oh, uh, people are starting to convulse and turn into zombies. Did he start the zombie apocalypse, dude? That was just the beginning. Click on the second folder. You know, I need my De Niro glasses. I can't see shit. Can you? one of you guys look at it? Yeah, um... Let's see. I'm seeing your bartender uh, whipping up drinks in a warehouse... Surrounded by enough shilts to supply the city. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a crazy word to say. It's oh, schlitz. Schlitz. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Schlitz. Okay. I'm seeing your bartender whipping up drinks in a warehouse. Surrounded by enough shilts. Schlitz. <laughs> schlitz. <laughs> schlitz. <laughs> schlitz. <laughs> Good thing we switched to Valentine. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. No, that's fine. So they're supplying this. He took all of the Schlitz. Is that what it looks yeah, like? Yeah, to supply the city, looks like. Oh, that's great. That's right. He was extracting the Schlitz molecule proton to fuel his evil plans. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit is right. There's more. Click on the third folder. I'm looking at your bartender. He's injecting a neon-colored concoction into some kind of... Monkey coyote hybrid? What the fuck? Where is Johnny Cocktails, Jay? Beyond God, maniacs. He's dangerous. Even I couldn't defeat him earlier. So that's why you came in here all fucked up? I'll just leave you with good luck and Godspeed, maniacs. Great. She's leaving us high and dry. I can't believe Johnny Cocktails is a supervillain. Let me get this straight. He unleashed a zombie apocalypse. He fucked up our Schlitz connection, which pissed everyone off and we had to take a thousand phone calls. That really sucked. And then he Donkey Kong the building with poor Roberta's illegal expanding exotic behemoth. Well, maniacs, should we go to the council for this? I say we blow the fucker up. Shouldn't we? No, we just blow the fucker up. Hey there, daddy -os. Blow who up? Oh, um, nothing, Johnny. What, what, what have you been up to today? Oh, not much. I'm feeling parched. 
I think I need to wet my whistle. Hey there, Johnny. Uh, why don't you make me one of those pretty drinks you're drinking? <sighs> this one's for me, darling. I isolated the Slitz Proton, giving me unlimited powers. It's my time to shine on the world stage, baby. How can you do all these things, Johnny? We loved you, man. You were our bro. Yeah, Johnny. We even paid $20 to get a jingle for you. Wow, that's great. Do you have any last words? What do you mean? Are you serious? Why are you insane? You've caused so much damage. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Didn't you ever think that I would like to be a maniac? Haven't you had a single thought that maybe I would like to be as loved as you are with your fancy podcasts and the maniacs this and the maniacs that? You know what I say about the maniacs? What? Finito! La morte! Any last words? Screw this. I'm using my power to get this bastard. That didn't do anything. <laughs> nice try, Bear. More like Cub. Let me try disappearing. Your powers are useless, Bard. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's beard. <laughs> oh my god, I'll be fun. Nah, whatever. Any last words from the great Beck Maniac? Oh yeah? Yeah! You're a half an octave singing dumpy ass fuck face troll who should be living under a bridge. And by the way, you're a gangrenous twat waffle of a man. A tiny fermented gob of rancid ball snot and your drinks were subpar. Anything else? Yeah, one more thing. You suck. In your face. Beck, do a power on him. I can't read his mind. It's like something's blocking me. How about you, yes all maniac? Any last words? I'm a little pissed you use fuckface, Beck. That's my favorite swear word. Now I can't use it on him. What about asshat? That's a good one. Nah, no, that doesn't ring the same. Let's go! I ain't got all day. All right! Just hold up. <laughs> Let me have one last cigarette before you vaporize us or whatever it is you do because we really don't know what powers you have. drink must have been extremely flammable because he just went up like a tinderbox. Yeah, Jay, you blew him the fuck up. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to feel really good about my phlegm. Let's cheers to Jay and his phlegm. No, let's cheers to the spent... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Why can't we say it? Nobody can say <laughs> this damn word. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was the other thing? The the other one, uh, maniacal four, or what was the other thing? Yeah. We should have done that. <laughs> the, the, the menacing four. Menacing, menacing four. Okay. All right. Well, guess what? We're not the menacing four. We're the spastastic four. So not throw ya. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Done. Nice. Uh, you know what? We need a theme song. Here we go. I'm gonna do it. Uh, that's the Indiana Jones theme, guys. Is it, though? <laughs> yeah, well, is it copy copyrighted? Uh, it's John Williams. Yeah, it's got to be. He's, he's the greatest uh, composer in history. Uh, who gives a fuck? We won Nostrovia. Chin chin. Chin chin. You ate faster than a speeding bullet. Well, you super-powered maniacs, that was our show, and we'd like to thank our very special guests, the bear and the beard, you fucking punks. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, me and my partner, the beard, uh, which makes me the bear, we host a nerdy podcast every other week. Uh, comes out on Fridays. You can get it on all of your audio platforms that you can find your podcasts on. We also do videos, and we have Instagram, Facebook. Beard, what are our numbers looking like right now? Uh, I think we're averaging about 30 listens an episode on Buzzsprout, and that goes yeah. through all of our like Spotify, all that other stuff. Yeah, it's about nice. that. And we're just growing. two nerdy guys talking nerdy things. Yeah, and we're really just trying to spread the message of positivity throughout all the fandoms. It's really just me and him talking a nerdy topic every week. And we'd like to have you guys on the show on. as well. Uh, we'll we'll come up with something and we'll put out an episode with you guys on it. So that'd be great. Absolutely. Sounds amazing. Yes. You can find us on all the major platforms as well as our social medias. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We're there. Oh, y'all be doing them tweets? We be doing them tweets, even you though nobody really Twitters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we TikTok now like the youngins. 
I tick tack a lot. Doing them talking, <laughs> then talking tweets and the and the book faces. And, uh. Isn't that name changing? <laughs> it, probably right? it's met, meta something. <laughs> So that means we're going to have to put Spaztastic 4 on all these platforms if we're going to be superheroes. I'm, I'm For out. sure. I'm out. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Span the group. That sounds, like a lot of, that sounds like a lot of work. We're out. It does. It does. <laughs> you can contact us at umbrellaholics at gmail.com. Go ahead and send us in a message and we'll be happy to read it on the show. And you can contact us as well. We actually have a phone number set up through Google Voice called the Nerd Line. That number is 769-208-4079, where you can call in and give us an opinion just on anything nerdy. And uh, we'll probably play it in the show. We have the email, the bear in the rear podcast at yahoo.com, and you can message us on Facebook. Awesome. All right, now, Jay. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to leave you crazy villains and superheroes with... Bye. 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 <laughs> Um,